Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I'm your host, Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back in Planet Crafter with a crazy idea. I had some extra time on my hands today, so I kind of spent that time doing something I probably shouldn't be doing, but yeah. So, what we got here is 1000 T2 or T. Four drills, is that what they are? Um, yeah, T4 drills and T4 heaters. I got a whole bunch of them over here. I got a whole bunch up in here. Oh, they're just everywhere. I started running out of places to put all this because I was actually trying to avoid any spot that I knew was going to fill up with water. But let me show you in here. I might die. Oh, yep, I made it. I actually have a thousand twelve heaters and one thousand even of the drills. Sixty six nuclear fusions will turn all this on. So what we're gonna do, there's a couple things we're gonna watch. We're gonna see if we can watch this water fill up. How fast will it fill up? Because let me tell you, those T points are gonna roll. I'm gonna give you one clue. The blue sky, it's instantaneous. That's how fast this is going to go. But, um, so the, one of the things we're going to watch is we're going to watch this water fill up. Then we're going to reset. And then we're going to watch this ice melt out. First, this ice will melt out. Then we got the inner cave ice leading off to the left there into the zeolite cave, I believe. That one takes longer to thaw out. And then, and then, I'd, I'd like to um, do the waterfall, but the weird thing is with the waterfall, if I'm standing here looking at it, it just won't, just won't turn on. I have to like look away and then, oh look, there it's on, we missed it. So that's that. But anyhow, before we get started with this awesome, awesome video, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down there means an awful lot. I want to try to get at least two on this video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this crazy idea. And if you have any suggestions of your own. And uh, of course, click them likes. Gotta feed that algorithm to YouTube. Alright, let's get in here. Let's try a little bit of Planet Craft. Alright, here we are at the crater. Remember what this all looked like. This is what it looks like before water. But it turns out, you really got to get up into the GTIs before this cloud disappears. Are you kidding me? We're going to have a storm now. We'll definitely wait until the storm is over. Alright, so I want to explain. I only laid down the drills and the heaters. We had several things that produce oxygen. Tell me we're getting another storm right after that storm. Jeez. We'll go here a little bit quieter. We have several things that produce oxygen, but they all put out a biomass. Even though they're not listed with a bio uh, matter point they I guess the plant points is what does it but the plant points for some reason doesn't require power so as soon as I drop down a greenhouse or a sea spread or something the terraformation index started rolling and I wanted to keep the terraformation index at zero until I had all you guys here with me so that we could watch this all together I didn't want it to be rolling while I was setting stuff up. But it turns out that just having heaters and drills is enough to terraform this planet. Makes everything move. But the only thing it won't do is it won't unlock anything in this tree. So we'll unlock all this, we'll unlock all that, and we'll unlock all this. All right, enough with the talking. Let's get to watching. So over here, 
You see, I got all my heaters. I mean, all my uh, nuclear fusion generators. So we're going to drop down one more here next to it. And that will light everything up. Now, watch the sky. Let me see if we can get into a... You know what? Let's do it on like, the hill so we can watch the sky. Is there a spot here we can do this? Alright, here we go. Boom! Blue sky. And then we'll instantly start getting things unlocked. Oh, here comes the water already. Wow, look how fast that's coming in. How's this windy river look over here? That's really filling in quick. I tried to place everything where I didn't think it was going to get wet. At 50 is when we're full pool. And there it is. Full pool. So all the water here is in. But, crazy thing. Let's go over here to the canyon. As you can see, there is no water down here yet. The water doesn't start to come in here until you get to the GTIs. So we might be able to sit and watch this thing melt. I don't know. I think this melts really, really slow. Like I would need probably a lot more to make that MTI roll a lot faster to be able to watch this melt. So I don't think we're going to be able to sit here and watch this. But I do know that all these rocks will disappear because that's a smooth island by the time it turns green. Yeah, that's got a ways to go. And then our waterfall should already be on. Alright, let's reset it real quick and let's watch the waterfall. Alright, so we've already established that we're at full pull at 50 MTIs. And I think that's when this waterfall turns on. I actually haven't caught the very moment that it turns on. Well, let's check it out and let's see here. We started it over. I see water coming in. We'll keep looking away. Because I know that's the only way it's going to work. So when we get close to 50 MTIs, that's when we'll check it out more. But yeah, it's one of those things where I sat and stared at it. And I was all the way up to like 80 or something MTIs. And I looked away for a second and it came on. But then one time, I, was, I tested this out quite a few times, so I, I kind of have an idea what's going to happen here, but... Yeah, we're close to 50 MTIs now, and um, it's still not turning on. There it is. Maybe it doesn't turn on until you get to 80. Let's um, go all the way over here. And then we'll come back. There, see, it came on. So yeah, it's one of those weird things. We, we can't sit and watch it come on. All right, let's reset. All right, so the next thing we're going to get to watch is the ice melt. This one says it starts to melt at 100 NK, which I don't think is very much. I know the one inside melts at a larger, longer rate. Ah, 
I actually haven't watched this yet, so this is gonna be curious. We're at 15. I can't see if we're getting water or not. Come on, let me in. What number do you think it's going to start moving at? It said 100, didn't it? But that was 100 in something. So I really don't know what it's asking for. But we're about to find out here. So far, no action. So we're at full pool now. Maybe if we leave and come back. No. We'll wait till we get to 100 MTIs and see what happens. there oh I'm excited all right that's a hundred MTIs not seeing any melted yet oh, I'm stuck in there Wow, my frames dropped way down. I'm afraid to even move right now. There we go. They jumped back up. So I guess that... Look, we're getting green grass already. Yeah, oh yeah, see, that was one of them things we couldn't be in front of it. And this one's already melted. Alright, let's reset. Let's try that one more time. So that was an instant melt. That's why we didn't see that one. But now this one here we can actually see moving. There you go. We got to see some ice melt after all. And I believe this is the one that leads to the canyon. Is that melting? What does it say? Starts melting at 5 UKs. Not exactly sure what that's... Not without putting up a uh, module and a screen to see where we are at. But that should be... Uh, my frames dropped again. I'm down to 5 frames per second. That's because I got a thousand of each of them things and it's trying to unlock all these blueprints and everything. Let's do all the animations of the ice melting. You can see a little hole up in there. We can actually get up over that. No? Oh, there goes the melting. At 80 MTIs, that's where it's going to melt. Well, it, it melts at, uh, at the heat. Once your heat pressure is up to 5 UKs. 
But for our experiment, it melted at 80. 80 MTIs. All right, very exciting. Now, let's run over to the canyon and see if we can't see it clear up. We'll have to sit and let this run for a little bit until we get up into the GTIs. All right, so that's where we're going to leave it. Um, it looks like the cloud and everything, the water stops filling up at two GTIs over there at the crater. I had my microphone off, so we kind of I just jumped over to here real quick. But, um, yeah, that, we're not going to sit and watch the lava disappear because that's going to take too long. I mean, we haven't even unlocked everything yet. I think you have to get like 360 GTIs. Yeah, we lost some in the water. Uh, 360 GTIs to unlock the last thing. Yeah. I'm surprised that my heat's not really rolling a whole lot faster than what it is. Even my pressure's not really moving, but we could be up in some high numbers. I don't know. But we did definitely unlock all of that stuff. And we are in the tree stage, heading into the insect stage. And all this in under an hour. So, um, leave a comment. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And, of course, click them like buttons. Let me know that you guys enjoy this type of content. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next turn.